Yes, I was able to go live. All right, I know when I was watching right now, I didn't wait for anyone to, but I was going to do a quick video preview of our sale that's starting Friday at Malvern. This is not the reschedule. That would be the one in Slocum, which is right down the road. So when you come here or you go there and then come over here, you know, it's only a few minutes away from each other. So we hope that we're going to get you twice in one day. So uh, we've got a small little property over here that is just packed out the doors. Uh, lots of uh, neat little this thingamabobs, uh, whatever. Anyway, if you want to, we'll go ahead and uh, go inside. Just bear with me. Um, I'll try to go over things, not keep the video too long, but uh, point out some things that I like. Let's go. All right, and for you, those of you who complain about me moving things from the video for the time we get to the sale, don't worry. Everything is in its place. So... Let's see here, we got a great little bell collection. Little pink salt light. Um, you'll notice there's lots of little neat, little different things. Uh, they were missionaries, so you'll kind of find things from South America, Central America, um, wood carvings, you know, things you just haven't really seen. Lots of vintage little, I mean, just, you know, little things like this, you know? some interesting pieces like those knives down if anyone happens to be watching and wants me to go stop over anything just let me know uh, all the pieces are here to the lamp but as you can see the bottom part the little stretchers that go across the base right there they broke off it is fixable something I could do if you're interested in the lamp because I do even though those shades are kind of crazy I do kind of think it'd be cool all um, there's lots of unfired uh, pieces of pottery, like the rooster. There's geese, roosters. See the magnolia down there? Uh, those are pretty cool. Uh, down here, we got a, uh, a knockoff uh, Roomba. Don't know what you call that. A Zumba, a Loomba, or whatever. Lots of baskets. There's a few right there. Uh, there's good ones, cheap ones. Yeah. A little bit of everything. Uh, you'll see a lot of little Buddhas, stuff like that. It's just kind of in here. Um, there's another really cool old lamp that needs some TLC. As you can see, it's got a great base with the log that goes to it. Got a pot belly stove with a great, I think this one is our, this could be a real vintage bank. It's not a knockoff. We got this, you know, I thought it was handmade banjo. It's just in such bad shape and it's been repaired. Um, but it's not. It's actually just been painted gold. I mean, I, could, I tried to scratch off to see what brand it was, but yeah, it's just a wall hanger. It is roached out, even if you want to hang it on your wall. Uh, we've got lots of good lamps. Uh, there's another wood carving. We've got this great crescent replica stove that someone turned into a lamp. That'd look cool with a little Edison bulb right on top. Some more lamps. Some teacups. Let's see, we got a few Fenton pieces. And I think we have a couple more up here. I think that might be a Murano piece right here. It just says Made in Italy on the bottom. That's all we got. It's cool. A little piece of art glass. Uh, let's see here. All right, we got lots of books. Um, there's just, you'll find a box of books, stack of books, you know, everywhere you turn because there was just not enough places to put them. So. Let's go to the next room. Hi, Katie. All right, let's see. Nice little chest set of extra drawers right here. And this is our Christmas room. Let me just pan over it real quick. We have a whole room devoted to Christmas. It even smells like Christmas in here. It smells like Kirkland's when I used to go there when I was younger with my mother. Um, and I'll just go pan around the room. See anything you want me to stop, make a little better note of, just let me know. Let's see here. Candles. We have lots of candles. Lots of Yankee candles. They're good candles. We got lots of them though. Lots of them. A lot of this home interior stuff. Little gifts in the boxes. Little candles. I think a lot of these are just little candle sets. Uh, brand new. Um, 
poinsettias, you name it. Vintage Christmas lights. I believe there's a couple bags of those sitting around. Uh, let's see. We've got this great TV, of course. I know someone's going to need to take that home. <laughs> the bows. Look, more books. I told you. Um, let's see. Candles, candles, poinsettias. Uh, we've got lots of box lots, as you can see. Uh, on the coffee table here. Yes, we have some box lots. All right, let's go to the next room. What's up, Justin? All right, let's see here. It's the back room. This was a craft room when we came in here. So yes, uh, it's got a little mixture of everything because we kind of combine the crafts. We've got boxes of fabric, uh, boxes of thread, you know, so we kind of combined everything there. And uh, this kind of became a melting pot of everything that didn't really fit anywhere. So there's all sorts of things in this one. All right. Like I said, if you see anything you want me to take a little more time on, just let me know. Let's see. Got this great, I think she said her father made this little cedar cabinet right here. Uh, still in great shape. So. Little beanie babies. I know someone's interested in that. <laughs> nice little chess set. There's some more carvings. Looks like a little bicentennial piece. And we also have a lot of these reproduction little Coke pieces everywhere. I know some people like them, some people don't, but hey, you know, it's affordable if you like Coke stuff. I don't know about this frog. Uh, yeah. All right. Next room. I'll just keep going around. There's a dresser, double mirrors. Uh, this is where we have our jewelry. It's not quite finished being bagged up. But as you can see, if you like costume jewelry, I've kind of been through it. You know, there's some sterling pieces in there. Nothing really extraordinary. Uh, but yeah, if you're into the costume jewelry, it's all vintage for the most part. Um, we got you covered in the, I don't know the clock's on. The clock was really cool. It tells you it's afternoon, morning, it's raining, it's month, what month it is. Uh, lots of, uh, artificial greenery, as you can see. Good trunk right here. We've got it packed full of linens. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we, we will have to show you the trunk to you if you're interested in it. Uh, jewelry boxes. Stuff in the middle of the room. Let me see what these boxes are. Oh yeah, for anyone that needs that uh, fresh cardboard side table next to their bed, I got you covered. Yeah, you can be green with your furniture too. Recycle it when you're done. Lots of, uh, what is this, Inesco Precious Moments stuff? Yeah, mm -hmm. lots of that, lots of it. Uh, we have lots of ladies' clothing. Uh, I haven't checked the size yet, so I can tell you what you're looking into. I want to say she was a smaller woman. I think I've already discussed this with my clients. Yes. Uh, it looks like there's tags missing and everything. Uh, large. Medium and large women's clothing. So, um, not how far. I'm not sure how far that'll go with some of you, but... We've got plenty of it. All right. As you can see, we've also got lots of extra boxes and stuff stacked here in the hallway. These are just empties. They'll be out of the way where you can use them to pack things if you need them. Um, we have a lot of... These are the boxes uh, I call prepper, prepper stuff. You know, dry milk, dry food, all sorts of stuff. Uh, you check the dry milk. Go in about $100 for a six-pack online uh, of course you know we're not gonna be anywhere around there but uh just so you kind of check out your prices uh the providence provident pantry i want to check into that you know we are going to get a little value out of these but you know it is what it is and i'll go down the labels right here if you want to kind of see what's in each one for any of y'all that might be interested in any prepping supplies all the gas masks were roached out though too bad i'm gonna throw them all out um, 
you know, we never have enough coffee mugs. So, hey, come and get them. Uh, All right. I saw a set of uh, Ruby, a little Ruby Red glass set right there. So I'm gonna take. Uh, we also have tons of utensils. I mean, they just bags and lots and lots. I mean, I just found another tote out in the shed that is just full of utensils. They're all pretty vintage. All right, let's see. Let's keep going. Oh, we got a stereo. Oh, we also have a... Uh, uh, yeah. Um... <laughs> We put it in the kitchen, because that's where it belongs. Why not? Pots and pans. You know, I see some good stuff mixed in there, some not so good stuff. Let's see. The sun's kind of bright. Let me see if I can fix that. There we go. Dehydrator. You know what? You can spend a lot of money on a dehydrator. I like these, though. I make lots of jerky. It makes jerky real nice and crispy, even though it's a cheap one. All right, let's go. Wait, wait. We also have, up here, we didn't have enough room, so we put the Desert Rose, up, the rest of it up here. We've got a couple place settings out. Um, so we do have a whole set of Desert Rose. And I believe that's California, not England. So you got that. Let's see what else we got. A couple pieces of uh, Vaseline glass. You can see that was kind of chippy, so yeah. Uh, some rose and canary. Let's see, and we got another little set over here. Uh, Halls, superior, quality kitchenware. Just little odds and ends. You know, if you got a booth somewhere, great place to pick up lots of little, you know, you know, beach traffic, travel traffic's gonna come be here in a few months. Might as well be stocking up on dollar, two, three dollar items. You know, stuff people can fit in their car while they're traveling through. Cause you know, they're not gonna take home your furniture, your painted dresser you made over the summer. Uh, some knives, zippos. All right, let's go in the garage. This is my favorite place. All right, let me see how the light is. I think we got enough light. Okay, got a few lanterns, and like I said, they were preppers, so you will see some stuff that was, uh, you know, used for prepping. It's got some age on it because they were prepping for Y2K. Um, yep, and let's see here. I like this one, and the glass is inside, as you can see. Got it wrapped up. It is intact. Uh, we've got lots of kerosene heaters, cookers, Still in the box, stuff like that. Uh, Lantern fuel. Uh, let's see. All right. A couple of old shovels. They're like a World War, World War II, but yeah, it's just a commercial. Work. Same style. Uh, sheepskin rugs. Hello. All right. Painting supplies, radios. Uh, there's a big drum here full of water. I doubt anyone wants it. Got the old warehouse fire bucket up here. Some other galvanized buckets. Um, let's see some eight millimeter projectors. Old radio. Oh, let's keep going around. Uh, bamboo ladder. Haven't figured out what it's for. It'll actually hold my weight. <laughs> I use it to climb up. Pretty interesting. Uh, you need some match light. Uh, we've also got the five gallon buckets like that right there. I got a couple of those. They're full of charcoal as well. Um, some sucker hoses. And it looks like we got a Sambo that has seen better days. Um, Sambo's head. He's lost his head. But he's full of con he, he's full of concrete. So I think a little uh little gorilla glue might get might get him back together. File cabinets, you gotta have the luggable loo, you know, for the people who have to go on the go. I got you covered, and if you didn't make it in time to get the luggable loo, I got you a portable toilet with lots of extra double-duty bags. Got you covered for 
those needing to do their do on the go. Uh, some great little vintage tins, little appliances. You know, um, I'm sure Justin's still here. He knows we got the uh, Lean Meat Fat Grilling Machine. There's only three or four of those everywhere we go. Um, let's see, the appliances are for sale. So we've got the um, stand-up freezer. We've got a dryer. And we have a washer. Both are working. Yeah, both are a little, little banged up, a little dated. Um, we have totes here. These were just kind of miscellaneous, you know, whatever. You know, I kind of like to have some for people to dig through. So I'm going to set them out back and just let you guys dig through them. I've kind of looked through all of them. Some of them have books. Some of them have doilies. Some of them have more kitchen utensils. It's just kind of a hodgepodge of stuff all mixed together. Um, oh, yeah. One other thing I missed before we leave the garage is we got the Great Schwinn bike here. Looks like it's never been ridden. I mean, I checked the brake pads down here, and they look like they've never even been used. Still got the instructions, manual, everything hanging um, right here. I'll go ahead and tell you, uh, the, the kiln right here, I've been hard up for a kiln for a while. So, uh, yeah, you got to be willing to pay more than I will because I really want the kiln. Uh, I'll just go ahead and put that out there. I don't want any surprises. And we got the uh, old water jug down here. I like it. All right. Let's go see in the shed. Hopefully, Shorty didn't lock it up. All right. Oh, and this is the first time I've had one of these chandeliers. And I've actually had the original paperwork and everything. So it's a Montgomery Ward chandelier. It needs a little love. As you can see, everything's a little loose. All the crystals are there. You know, it just needs a little work. Tightening up, maybe changing back the candlesticks. You know, whatever you prefer. Um, the thruster Panasonic speakers, we have the deck uh, with the turntable and everything inside the, the garage. We just found the speakers, so we will probably be marrying those together, so you'll get a whole set. Uh, let's see here. We've got another kerosene heater down here. Christmas trees. Uh, in here, we've got a whole bunch of stuff we didn't really have anywhere to put. So it's out here. We'll pull it out the day of sale. It's all been tagged. Everything. we got seven chairs. Not eight, not six. We have seven. Uh, we have lots of medical equipment, you know, walkers, toilet seats, wheelchairs. Um, we've got flower pots, garden and tools. Little ladders, a uh, whole bunch of little miscellaneous things. All right, guys. Oh, wait, I don't have to do this. Hold on. There we go. All right, well, thanks for watching. Uh, like I said, the sale begins here at 8 a.m. on Friday. And I will tell you this, parking is going to be non-existent in front of the home. Uh, you can, when, when you come here via GPS, however you get here, it's really a big loop. It is a circle. And so uh, there is a road. See my hand? There is a road that goes this way across the horseshoe. Um, it, it, it has large spaces on both sides of the road. Some of you may have to walk kind of far, uh, but for the most part, you're gonna be all, you're all gonna be able to park within maybe 100 yards or closer. Um, if you are not disabled or you do not have trouble walking, please save the area that we're going to have close to the house for anyone that might have trouble getting to the house. Uh, we will have probably uh, 10, 15 spaces for that. But if you come here first, or if you go to Slocum, either way, we got you covered. And maybe I can come up with something, some kind of deal where if you come to visit us at both sales, we can give you some kind of discount. Uh, but anyway, I hope to see you Friday. If you come here, I will see you. If you go to Slocum, I will not. Phil will be running that sale. But either way, thank you for your continued support, and I hope to see you this weekend. Bye, guys.